After the tactical binging of ton of YouTube videos, I have decided to get myself a mechanical keyboard, in particular the Keychron K6. I have been obsessed with typing on this thing. I'm actually surprised I haven't been kicked out of the library yet for loud keyboard noises. I also came to the conclusion that I mostly typed with my index fingers, which looks awful for a programmer. I know. I have since decided to improve my typing skills and I want to share my results with you guys as well as the benefits from my work. But first, I wasn't fully happy with my keyboard aesthetics, so I got this set of white pudding keycaps. Now, I am not sure if this is completely compatible with the keyboard, but we'll figure that out. So, we're gonna change the keycaps, compare the sound and visuals before and after, and then I'll talk about my typing progress. We're gonna start with the hard part of the video, which is opening this thing. I swear these plastic gluey thingies are the worst thing mankind has ever came up with. We got our keycaps out of the box, it even comes with a little key removal thingy. Let's test if they're compatible. If you're wondering why it's called pudding keycaps, it's because they have this slightly translucent part on the bottom and then the top is hard white. Now from my very limited knowledge about mechanical keyboards, one of the main issues for compatibility is the spacebar, but we don't have one, not two, but three spacebars. Surely one of them will fit, right? <laughs> Okay, so I have finished replacing the keys and I love them, they're gorgeous. There are a couple of issues though, so I don't have a shift key to fit this one right here. So I've put an alt in there for now, but you can see the really big gaps and it doesn't look nice at all. Uh, there's also no control key to replace that one, but that one I don't actually mind too much. I've contacted customer support to try and get an individual shift key to fit here. Unfortunately, they don't send individual keys, but they were nice enough that they're gonna send me an entire keycap set for free just for me to replace this shift right here. It still won't bring the proper shift key, but it's gonna bring the caps lock key, which is exactly the same size. And the caps lock looks enough like a shift that I'm happy about that. For the control key, I'm gonna have an extra C key, so I might put the C in there for control, but then I'll have two Cs on the keyboard. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that. So for now, it's gonna be a page because why not? Regarding typing on it, it sounds amazing. It feels amazing. The keys have a little bit of texture to them. The lighting looks awesome because of the translucent bottom of the pudding keys. Overall, I'm in love with my keyboard and I can't wait until the extra keys arrive so I can make it perfect. Now, I want to touch on why I wanted the mechanical keyboard and why I wanted to improve my typing in the first place. So I have just finished reading Atomic Habits and one of the points that stuck out to me is that you need to make your habits enjoyable, including your work ones. If you're good at something, you're more likely to enjoy it. And if you enjoy it, you are more likely to do it more often and for longer periods of time. So this was my rationale to getting a mechanical keyboard. It makes me enjoy typing more and it makes me want to type better. This compounds to me enjoying my work more as I need to code and paper write a lot as well as being more efficient with my work hours. Now, this video isn't about typing tips. I am just starting my fast typing journey. However, I have been seeing significant improvements and I absolutely love the website that I'm using. So I'm posting that in the description below. Whenever I become a certified typing expert, I'll probably think about doing a video. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like such a video. In conclusion, I absolutely love my keyboard. The new keycaps look and feel amazing. I'm really happy that I can solve the little issues tomorrow. I'll post the final version on my Instagram. So make sure to give me a follow there. I highly recommend you guys finding little ways to make your work and studies more enjoyable. Let me know how you do it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and side my papers.